We've got a full couch now. We've got the Vale Valley Theater Company's Cabaret. Some of the cast is here. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Hey, thank you. Nice to be here. Very quickly, I just want to go down the line and introduce yourselves and the character that you play. I'm Jen Saito. I'm a Kit Kat girl. I'm Grace Boganski. I'm Fräulein Schneider. Okay. And I'm Steve Toffler, and I play Herr Schultz. And I'm John M. Maurer, and I'm a Kit Kat boy. Okay, awesome. Um, cabaret, it's coming up quick. Uh, it's the 16th through the 21st, right? That's it. Yeah. Yes. That's so right. July 16th through the 21st at Chasing Rabbits. That's, That's a first, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the first time that the that Vail Valley Theater has actually performed in that space, and it's going to be very, very unique, turning a restaurant into a cabaret space for this show. So. Yeah, and it's a beautiful space there. It's um, got tons of room in there. What's kind of a challenge with using that as your stage or building a stage in there? Well, like uh, Steve said, it's turning a restaurant into a cabaret. We have a stage that we will disassemble, move into the space, and then set up chairs and tables and a back wall and props and costumes and everything else bringing into a restaurant space to make it a theater. Amazing, amazing. And Cabaret is such a classic story. Um, can one of you just describe kind of the storyline without spoiling too much? Sure. I mean, I'll start, I'll jump in here. I mean, Cabaret takes place in uh, 1929. It's the end of the Weimar Republic in Germany, a time of you know, opulence and decadence and, and fun, and it transitions into the beginning of the Nazi regime. And it's what happens to the people who are trying to live their lives um, and what happens when a government comes in and everything changes. Yes. Um, I play um, a German Jewish character who falls in love with this young lady here um, and it's a story of you know hope and despair at the same time. So. Definitely and some great songs and classics. In for, there. Sure, yeah. for sure, for um, sure. How's the cast looking? Is, is it a lot of the regular folks? How's the Vale Valley Theatre Company looking these days and, and kind of who can we expect out there? Very healthy. There's, uh, the cast is local of course. Um, there's 17 members of the cast, so we've got dancers and singers and actors and all three. Um, and Vale Valley Theater Company, of course, has been around for over 20 years in the Valley. And this is the first time even for Vale Valley Theater Company to be in this kind of space. So it's not, not even for the veterans is it something that's old hat. It's kind of new for all of us. Yeah, the audience is actually going to be as close as we are to each other to the stage. So uh -huh. it's a very, very unique experience for actors and making sure you can stay in character and still, you know, tell our story to the audience. Right, right. So as Kit Kats, is that like an exciting thing to be that close or is that like a nervous thing to be that close? Or both? I would say it's exciting because I like to play with people. Yeah. Just like <laughs> being there. Yeah, yeah, awesome. It definitely creates a more immersive experience for theater because we're kind of going through the tables and, you know, it's, it's more fun to play to people then, you know, too. Definitely. How have rehearsals been going? Great. Long and, uh, and arduous, <laughs> but uh, we're getting ready. And we're we're yeah. less than a week away. We're feeling good about it, right? Yes. That's right. And there'll be live music on stage as well. So yes. it's not, not canned music, it's live music. So that's another whole uh, level to add to the kind of uh, intimacy that you find in a yeah. nightclub. So, I mean, I think we, we've sold it enough here. Where can people get tickets and how can they get involved? The BillValleyTheater.org website. Awesome. You can buy tickets and... They're going fast, yeah. so yeah, if you want to see the show, I would recommend that you get your tickets very soon. Um, it goes from the 16th to 21st every night. The doors open at 6, so people can go in and sit down, have a cocktail, have some food, and the show starts at 7. Okay, awesome. And I understand this is the director's first time working with you guys, is that right? Um, well, yeah, certainly we're first time working with us. I'm not sure what he's done with Bell Valley Theater in the past. Yeah, it's David Meyer is the, is the drama um, guy out at Bow Mountain High School. Okay. And he's been involved with Vail Valley Theater for a long time. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's the first time, personally anyway, that I've been directed by David. He's great. Yeah? He's How, what do you, how's it like working with David? He's oh, amazing. he's awesome. Yeah. yeah. He's got a great vision and you know, we're, we're also, um, I think for the first time we're doing a prologue that involves other people outside of our cast. And so from the, the second that you enter Chasing Rabbits, it's gonna be an entire experience. Awesome. And there's dining options, there's drinks. So there's, there's just a whole, it's a whole different ball game than what we're yeah. used to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Cabaret recently you know, opened again on, in the West End in London and on Broadway, and they did a similar thing, turning the Broadway theaters into cabarets. Okay. And that's basically the format we're trying to follow here as well. So Perfect. I think we're trying to be true to the, those uh, productions that are going on right now. Very cool, very cool. I mean, one of the cool things about living in this valley is it's so small. 
But how awesome is it that you have this opportunity and Vail Valley Theater Company brings all you guys together? Like how, how cool is that that we have that here, VP? Yes. Absolutely, really and we, we cool. continue to build into the community as well. We have improv classes, we've got workshops, we do choir co classes and dance classes. Um, so we're always trying to recruit new members and uh, spread our spread our wings into yeah. the community. Yeah, because it's, it's a creative outlet, right? Absolutely. So it's probably fun for you guys to be able to do this, right? Yeah, we all have a passion for theater and live performances, and this is a chance for us to do that and share what we love with an audience, you know, local audience. So it's great, and hope everybody here can come out and see the show. Definitely, definitely. What else is going on this summer? What, what happens? What happens after cabaret? Um, we all sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to hiking and yeah, biking yeah, and golf yeah. and enjoying this great, amazing valley. So. Yeah. But you know, Vail Valley Theater Company is a not-for-profit, so you know, there's always things behind the scenes going on and um, there's a fundraiser or a couple of fundraisers usually uh, every year yeah. um, and there's so much talent in this valley it's, yes. it's yeah. pretty remarkable it so, is it is what are the costumes like can't you tell <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is not what we wear normally walk around the streets here but That's right. wearing I, didn't, costume. I didn't wear this skiing the last time uh, <laughs> But, but we try to be really true to the period, yeah. um, and thankfully in the Valley we have some great resources for costuming, and we know the various thrift shops and other things, and in Denver, um, we've all, again, tried to look the period, and David's done a great job of matching up what was going on at the time, and trying to make sure that we look like we do, like we belong in Germany in 1929. Yeah, definitely. Now the Kit Kat girls do not look like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. A little more like this. Yeah, a little more risque and fun. So. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's, uh, what's been kind of the most fun thing about this specific one I know you guys have done a couple or multiple but what's kind of different or unique about doing cabaret um, for me it's again it's, it's a great great show that we get to you know we create in, in our own voice um, this is my first production with Vail Valley Theater and I got to meet some amazing people and you know become part of the family and theater is a family and this whole process has been amazing for me to meet new people and to do what we love yeah what about you guys? Absolutely. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I, I think it's, you know, coming together as a cast and, you know, just really developing these characters. You know, you start to get attached to the people that, you know, you're working with on a daily basis. And yeah, <laughs> and we, like you said, we become family. And it's just, I think that's just a beautiful process. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, July 16th is the first show. First show. Um, what are you guys most looking forward to? Getting, getting out there. The show getting out of the rehearsal yeah. and performing for a live audience. Yes. So what's the next week look like, the last week rolling into it? Well, we are at, at rehearsals. rehearsals every, every night, day. and then um, we will load into the space, which means bringing all our props and costumes and stage and everything this weekend, and then we start rehearsing in the space, and then the show goes up. In yeah. theater, the last week before a show is called Hell Week, and there's okay. a reason for it because we're all working, you know, until late hours at night and during the daytime, and um, trying to get this production up and running. So yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's been tiring, but it will. The end result will be amazing. Yeah, and, and again, chasing rabbits. What a unique venue yeah. um, to to yeah. do that. And they they have been wonderful, wonderful. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to allow us to use their space and the the co collaboration uh, among. Vail Valley Theater Company and Chasing Rabbits and the actors. It's just incredible, but it's part of the Valley. Yeah. That's what goes on. Well, Absolutely. as a community organization, Vail Valley Theater Company, who else do you guys work with or what other kind of organizations do you partner with? Um, well, let's see. We Last summer, we did Tina and Tony's wedding, and we were at um, the Grand Hyatt, the Grand oh, Hyatt awesome. Hotel, yeah. which was another immersive theater experience. Uh, awesome. That was lots awesome. of fun. And I know Vail Valley Theater Company does a lot out at Route 6 when they're doing their fundraisers <laughs> yeah. and reviews and so forth. So, Yeah, we love Ollie at Route 6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome. Um, what else should people know about Cabaret? Anything else? They need to get their tickets fast. It's a great show. It's going to be a lot of fun. They will see their friends up on stage performing like they've probably never seen them before. I love that. And yeah. um, it's, it's called a cautionary tale. Yeah. I mean, so considering the times that we're living in. What's amazing, the cabaret was first produced on Broadway in 1966, and the message it had back then is so um, prevalent and you know, timely today. Um, like she's, uh, Grace was saying, it's a cautionary tale of what can happen if people become complacent um, and, you know, don't <laughs> let the government um, take over their lives. Yeah. People have to be active in what they do and, and again, what's going on in our government today, it's really, really timely. It's, it's funny and not funny, it's ironic yes, kind exactly. of how that works, exactly. right? So um, it's, a, it's 
uh, an enjoyable performance, but it also can turn dark and have a, a strong message about what people should be aware of. Definitely, definitely. One more time, what's the website to get their tickets? RealValleyTheater.org. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. coming in great. character. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to that one. So it's the 16th through the 21st, though, right? Yes, so yeah, correct. Six performances. Six performances. So definitely get those tickets now if you can. And uh, check out the Vale, vale uh, Valley Theater Company all year round. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's right. Always up to something. Always, something. always up to something. Thanks so much again. And stay tuned. We'll be right back with the rest of the show.